Hi everyone, Danny here. I'm so excited to be back with Free People Movement to give you another P-Ball at home workout. All you need is your own body weight. If you were with me last week, we worked a lot on foundation and length. Today we have a little bit more of rotation and a core focus. Let's get going. Starting in your P-sit, quick review, feet are hip width. You're closing the hip to rib connection with your abdominals pulled in tight. Engage your glutes right away, squeezing them as hard as you can. We're gonna lengthen out the arms and peel the shoulder blades back. Reach your tailbone back like you're trying to sit in a stool and make sure your knees are stacked right over your ankles so you're not disengaging the backside. From here, I'm gonna mirror you. Shift and load into your right leg as your left leg goes long. Step out for an inner thigh sweep and then up and over, reaching over a bookshelf, hugging the inner thighs tight when you come back in. Bringing the arms above the heart to feel a little bit more of your heart rate and then see how much you can press into your outer leg when you squeeze the inner thighs, taking the stretch in the outer glute and hip. Keeping your knee back when you step out, we're gonna hold this next one, come halfway up, back to our rotation, exhale, squeeze. Stretching deeper into the inner thigh when you rotate, pressing down through your muscle tension on the way back. Engaging the abdominals, Feeling your oblique draw you back, pressing through your arm tension. Taking your focus with it. One more right here. Pull it in, arms up, step back into your P stance. I'm gonna face side so you can see this. Stepping the foot back with a flat foot. Reach the arms up for a forward hinge. Press and lengthen all the way up, squeezing the back butt. Low back is long, core is tight. Drive through your front right heel to power the body up, deepening the stretch and the hamstring in your right leg. We'll take one more, up and over. Press it up, back into your P-stance. Let's take everything to the other side. Shift and load into your left leg as your right leg goes long. Sweep across. Inner thigh squeeze as you reach up and over. Thinking that you're reaching for the tallest book on the shelf so you're not collapsing into the side body. Squeeze and lengthen. Pulling your abdominals in, engaging the outer leg and your obliques, shoelaces forward. Hold the next one. Feel the body up. Rotate into your core. Exhale and close. Rotation is one of my favorite aspects and components of P-ball. It's gonna help pull the midline in. Reaching, abs in tight. And also feels so good on the body. Stretching through your midline, bringing everything out. Take one more rotation and spiral. Join me back in your P stance. Turning to the side so you can see this. Shift and load into your left leg as your right leg steps back long. Arms up, taking a forward hinge and press. Low back long, lift and squeeze. Drive tension into that bottom heel. Pull your abs in nice and tight. Keeping that low back long, pressing through your tension. We'll take it three more, shifting and lifting up and out of your midline as you carve forward for two. Exhale, lift, give me one more up and over. Completing the warm up. back up. P stance, we're gonna go into our first set of legs. Staying in your P stance, bring your arms up to a bicep serve. I'm gonna step back so you can see my feet. Closing the hip to rib connection, shift and load into your right leg. As your left leg travels forward towards me, you're gonna open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades and postural muscles, press into your triceps. Pulling your low belly in, come back into a bicep uppercut, and back into your pew stance. When you forward step, keep this front leg, knee over the ankle, don't push the knee forward, keep it stacked. Squeeze this back butt, pull the abs in. Here we go, pick it up a little bit faster. Pressing through your arm tension, pull it back into your pew stance. Constantly using the lower abdominals to initiate your movement. Four more, press and open, squeeze it tight, three, Driving through this back heel, pulling the low abs in, two. Hold the next one out, freeze. Arms out, palms in, shoulder blades together. Laterally step away from your midline, shoelaces forward. Exhale, back into uh, the forward position, pulling the arms in. Again, pulling the abs in, chest is still on this incline. Shoelaces pointing forward towards you. I'm really squeezing my back butt. It should feel nice and expansive in the chest. Four more. Core in. 
Driving the low abs up and in each time you move that leg. Two more. Press lengthen. Pull it in. Last one. Excellent. Now that we've gotten the core engaged, shift your weight back. Bring your arms on top. Soccer kick as you press your arms down. Stretch your toe. Lengthen. Keeping a soft bend still in the standing knee. Chest is upright. Pulling the abs in as you press your arms down. Squeeze the standing butt when you lower the leg. I don't care about the height of the leg. Just using your low abs here to initiate. Pour in. Squeeze the abdominals to lift that top leg. Two. Give me one more right here. Now hold. Bring your arms into T. Roll the shoulders down. Pull the fingertips apart. Reach as you take a slight anterior tilt in the pelvis, squeezing that standing butt. Exhale, rotate in towards that standing leg. From the side, squeeze the standing butt, reach forward, core tight. Exhale, pull that oblique back and in. We just do six to finish the standing series. I'm really pressing into my instep of my standing leg to find my stability. Feeling my low abs and my obliques draw this leg up so small. I'm gonna give you one more right here. Stretch, you can also tap your toe if hovering is not your jam today. Reset, let's get the other side. Bicep serve, peace stance. Shift and load into your left leg. Take your right leg forward, chest open. Squeeze the abs in, bicep serve, lift. Chest proud, engage the abdominals. Feel the back of the arms. Squeezing the core every time. Pressing into the back muscles. Keeping that low back and abdominal engagement when you return back into this peace stance. Making sure that front knee stays stacked over the ankle, not pushing too far forward. Exhale as you drive those arms back. Give me one more, hold this forward step. Freeze, arms up, shoulder blades back. Open the foot away from the midline, shoelaces forward. Exhale, squeeze, close it in. Picking up from the low abdominals, not taking any momentum from this front leg. Driving into this back heel, squeezing the butt and using the abs to move this front leg. Out, squeeze, pull it in. We have three. Core, feeling that engagement. Two more, pressing through my arm tension. Bringing it out, last one. Hold, shift your weight back. Arms up, soccer kick, low abdominals. Drawing the leg up. Stretch and reach that toe out or tap. You can hover if you're feeling extra on that leg today or tap. This one, we keep the spine stacked, shoulders, hips, right over each other, squeezing the standing butt, carving through the upper body. Lengthen and stretch. Squeezing the lower abdominals to pick up the top of the leg. Don't get it too high so it's in the hip flexor. More just about where you're initiating your movement from, which is your lower abdominals. Give me one more. Now hold, bring those arms to interlace. Fingers pulling apart to engage in your back. Slightly taking that anterior pelvic tilt. Exhale, squeeze and then rotate on the way up. Everything goes neutral as you reach the toe forward. Exhale, squeeze the lower belly up and in. Rotating your right oblique back towards your right leg as you take that circular carve and rotate in right here, closing that rib cage. Give me two more. Pressing into the instep of your left foot to feel that stability. Last one. Lengthen, squeeze, take a second, shake it out. We head to your second set. Taking a wide stance now, opening, that, uh, opening your feet a little bit wider than the hips. Taking your arms out, squeeze your shoulder blades, sit back to a deep piece. Sit. Knees are in the same plane, even though this leg is popped. This knees aren't pushing forward, stay in your back body. From this wide P stance, drive back, squeeze the butt. And then box arms, pull it in and catch. Stretch, squeeze the butt, leg is long, shoelaces are forward. I'm pulling out of my pelvis, keeping my body long. Rowing into my postural muscles when I step in, still engaging the abs and the low back is long. Stretch, catch. Row and squeeze. Feeling my weight in your right standing heel. Press catch. Shoelaces forward every time you step back. Make sure this leg doesn't externally rotate. Three more. Lengthen, drag it out, squeeze. Pull it in. We've got two. Last one, hold. Palms in. Rotate your pelvis, upper body to the back. Exhale, close, bring it in. Rotate. Exhale, squeeze. I'm gonna check the, your shoelaces here. I'm gonna check myself, stay forward. Don't let them move. Just the pelvis, upper body. Exhale, close and squeeze. 
Driving into the standing heel as I rotate, engaging this outer leg, using the inner thigh to draw me back in. Three more. Squeezing and wringing out my core, staying nice and long, I'm not collapsing. Two. Exhale, close it off, squeeze the butt. Last one. Roll, pull it in. Bring your front right hand to your right hip. Hinge over your right leg. Pulling the hip, knee, and ankle stacking. Float the back leg up, hips are open. Taking an oblique and abdominal squeeze and lengthen out. We go for seven more. Notice my knee is coming in very slightly. It's not about the height and you always have the option to tap. Wherever you are, just initiating from this left side body, closing the hips to ribs as you carve down, using that abdominal to draw the knee in each time, hugging the belly button back and in three more, feeling that balance and stability, pressing into the instep of that standing leg for two. Last one, stay with it, press and squeeze, ring it out, stretch and lengthen, arms back to your box. Peace stance, other side right away. Pop your heel. Restack the knees so they're in the same plane. Hips to ribs tight. Drive back, reach the arms out, catch in that butt. Squeeze, row it in as you hinge deeper into the standing leg. Stretch and squeeze, ooh. Pull it in, feeling my balance there for sure. Lengthen, squeeze. Every time you wanna feel like you got pricked with thumbtacks in the glutes, every time that foot lands, squeeze the butt and engage it, pull it in. Feeling our mind's muscle pillar, adding that own tension and heat into your body, lighting up those muscles. Three, squeeze, two, hold the next one out on that wide step. Turn the palms in, rotate the pelvis and the core back. Exhale, squeeze, close it off. I'm pressing into this outer leg, inner thigh on the way back in. Notice my pelvis is rotating with my focus. Shoelaces in this bottom leg, staying forward towards you. Exhaling and using my breath. Driving through my front heel to keep tension in my hamstring. Rotate to the back. Ringing out the core, one more. Hold, take your left hand to your hip, hinge the body over your left leg. Pull the hip back, knee and ankle stacked. Hover, pull that knee in as you carve the arm down and lengthen. Notice my body is coming forward towards you at home. Squeezing this left, your right oblique in, my left side, abs tight. Carving down, feeling that instep of the leg really light up. Keeping my knee back, so I'm squeezing this butt. Feeling my standing leg while working my core. In, good, give me two more. Stretch, carve down to the upper body. Last one, fighting for that stability. Reset, meet me back. Feet, both feet on the floor. We're gonna roll down and take a plank series all the way down. Walk your body out. You have the option of a full plank or bring your forearms down. Squeeze your abdominals in nice and tight. We're gonna take a little side tap. Out, in. Alternating, seven more sets. Lifting from the low belly every time those legs go out. Outer thigh, inner leg. Outer and inner. Press, squeeze. Shoulders over the wrist, four more sets. Out, pull it in, out. Micro movement, squeezing the butt, always initiating from the low abs, mind to muscle, two more. Out, in, out, one more set, right and left. Take it out, squeeze, in, can you hold right here for eight. For seven, six, you have it, five, four, challenge yourself, three, two, one. Excellent, walk your feet in, roll up. We're gonna work internally for your next set. Meet me back in your box arms we just practiced. Send your tailbone back. Close the hips to ribs, squeeze the shoulder blade, shift and load into your right leg as your left leg goes long. Internally rotate the hip and pelvis down, keeping this knee parallel. Step back. When that foot catches, we're rotating into archer arms. Notice the standing leg is still pointing towards you at home. Back leg is long, heels not slack. Pull up and out of the midline, squeeze the butt, draw the arm back in, power through the standing leg. Shift and lift, rotate, squeeze and catch. Drag through the standing heel, pull it back in. Rotate and squeeze, pull it back in. Squeezing the abdominals up and in, catching in that back butt. Four more, spiraling into the core. Three, so that's what I love about P-Volve, it's tricky and it's sneaky. You're always engaging your core in your P-stance and P-sit from that incline. 
One more, hold. Freeze. Take your arms up above the crown of your head, taking that forward hinge, rotating to the back in towards that standing butt, lifting, bringing the arms back up. I'm really feeling my standing butt, rotating my pelvis slightly in, squeezing the butt, keeping that leg behind me long, driving tension into my upper body. Shoulders heavy, feeling the crown of my head all the way down to my standing heel, lengthening. Rotate, squeezing the butt constantly. Two more, bring it out. Give me one more right here. Rotate, staying in that internal, bring your arms down to shoulder height, shift your weight over your forward leg. Taking the arm up, taking the back leg up, squeeze the abdominal in as you draw your knee in. Lengthen back out to shoulder height. Squeeze, carving through that upper body. Pulling your abdominals in through this internal knee squeeze. Powering from your low belly to carve in towards your midline. Shoelaces in that standing leg still pointing towards me. Notice my abs really hug in before my leg even carves in. Still in that hinge and that standing leg for two. Stay with it, press, press, press. Give me one more. Excellent, hold it out. Bring these arms to T, little lift, up and down, little lift, six. We just have four more, squeeze it long, three, still parallel down, two, last one. Excellent, take a second, bring those arms back to box. Let's go right away into the other side. Tailbone back, hips to ribs close, shift and load into your left leg, right leg goes long. Internally, rotate the pelvis towards your standing leg, sweep it back, catch and arch your, arch your arms, squeeze that back butt. Pull the abs in, cushion into your P-stance. Let your focus go with that rotation, pulling that back arm so you really spiral into your core. Five more. Squeeze and catch. For four. Use your inhale and exhale. Three. Two. Drive through that standing foot to move your working leg. Last one. Now hold. Arms are gonna go out above the crown of your head. Rotate to that back butt. Exhale, lift. Drawing the shoulders down, keeping that back knee parallel. Can you rotate your pelvis with it, squeezing your back foot as you rotate? Don't disengage your outstretched leg either. Keep squeezing this butt as well, four more. Drive into that heel. Three, growing out of the midline. Crescent through that standing foot, two. Give me one more. We start that long leg squeeze. Hold, fold your arms down to shoulder height. Hinge forward over that standing leg, keeping your shoelaces forward towards me. Rolling that hip down, lift that back leg. Abdominal knee squeeze and internal. Lengthen, drive it out. Keeping your shoulder blades down, postural muscles engaged. Still in that hinge in your standing leg. Knee stacked right over the ankle. Five more, pulling the belly in. Lengthen out. Pressing through this arm as I draw that leg in and out. Three more. Squeeze, keeping that parallel. Two. Give me one more right here, y'all. Squeeze, lengthen it out. Hold that long leg shape. Interlace the fingers, keeping it parallel in that internal. Lift, four more like that. Just lift and lower for three, getting into all of those untapped muscles. Two, last one. And one, excellent. Meet me back in your box arm, send the butt back. Heading into our last standing sprint. Squeezing the abdominals right away. Shift and load into your right leg as your left leg carves forward. Now we go forward with the arch arm, pulling your back right arm. Notice my shoelace and my back leg is still pointing towards you. And if you look at my front foot, it's flat to the screen. Pull it back, P stance. Rotate internal, squeeze, pull it in. I love internal work. Rarely do we ever train internally. It's great to help get the body in alignment if you walk with excess turnout. And just start, uh, strengthening your hips in general are gonna help with all of those postural imbalances we all deal with, depending on your body. Two more. Rotate abs, cushion that landing, give me one more. Now hold, fold your arms to triangle, shift your weight back as that leg goes long, keeping that knee pointing forward. Open it up and tap. Rotating into the standing leg, using the abdominals to take a slight pick up of this leg. Keeping my knee forward no matter where my hips are. Notice that the leg does not externally rotate, getting that deep stretch in that back glute. 
Squeeze, core tight. For three, can you sit back a little deeper, keeping this knee over that ankle. Two, both when you rotate in internally and open up. Give me one more. Now hold. Reach your arm up over that midline. Pull it down to peace stance using your oblique. Up and over. Pull it down. So all of these ways to work your abdominals standing. And doing your abdominal standing is gonna help you lengthen your midline. Stretch, pull, squeeze, really using this oblique here to close the hips to ribs when you pull it back. Give me two more. Lengthen, last one right here. Up, pull it down. Now hold, take that palm down. We're gonna lift that leg up into that oblique and then reach. Notice my body is still hinged forward towards you. I'm using the oblique we just engaged to pull my body to meet my leg and down. Squeeze and lower. Press, still on that hinge. Feeling my standing leg for two. Give me one more. Now hold, little lift. Up an inch, down an inch. Feeling that outer butt, inner thigh. Lift and lower. Up, keep that hinge, feel that standing leg. Four, you have it core tight. Three, still embracing the abs here. Two, last one. Excellent, meet me back in that internal, send the butt back. Meet me back in your P stance, let's hit that other internal. Shift and load into your left leg, right leg steps forward, carve the arm out, abs in, pull it back into P stance. Pivoting around the standing leg, driving that arm out as you row the back arm into your postural muscles. I'm not taking off of this leg, I'm doing all of my work by pressing down into my standing foot. Out. Squeeze, give me two more. Press. Last one, hold this front internal. Shift your arms to T, pull them apart. Send the weight back to your back foot as you stretch. Rotate, sit back. Keep the knee pointing forward, pivot around that standing leg. Rotate, squeeze it in. Picking up your abdominals every time this leg moves. Up to the side, low abs, lift, pull it out. Rotate, squeeze. We have four. Really feeling my outer glute. Three, pulling my inner thighs tight. Two more, shoulders down. Always have to remind myself of that last one. Hold this outstretched position, bring that hand to the hip. Reach up and over, staying in this forward hinge in that hip and that P stance, fold the arm down. You're reaching up and over out of the midline, pulling the oblique back and in to meet you, to get you back into your P stance. Can you think about reaching for the book all the way on the top shelf so you're not collapsing into the supporting side? Squeeze and lengthen. I love feeling all of this length on my side body. Carve it down, two more. Feel that oblique you just engaged, hold right here. Pick the body and leg up to meet each other through that oblique, reach and extend out and over. Body still hinged forward, but still back. And you see that my head goes over my standing leg and then it pulls up with my arm and my oblique, meeting that leg through the power of my core and side body. Squeeze it down, feeling that mind to muscle control. Super small, all about those micro movements. Two more. I'm about to really tap into those micro movements on this next one. Hold it up, here we go. Up an inch, down an inch, lift and lower. First six more, six, and press, you've got five. Stay with it, four, last in, thank got three. Fight for it, give me two more, up. And down, last one. Excellent, everyone, meet me in a plank. We're gonna finish strong. We have an abdominal focus, like I said. We're gonna come out to all fours, send the tailbone up, squeeze your abdominals. We're gonna take a small little tap out, and some same leg. Here we go, six more, like that. Tap out, pull in. Try to stabilize your hips. Press through your upper body. Don't move those hip bones, pull the abs in. Give me one more. Other side, right here, here we go. Tap it out, pull it in. Keeping your shoulders over your wrists. Low abs in. Before my leg moves, I zip up my core. Four, squeeze, three, stay with it. Two, I'm gonna challenge you one more thing. Hold, walk your legs all the way out. Just hold, squeeze the abdominal, squeeze the glutes, eight seconds. Seven, we stretch, and six, y'all, you've got five. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job, walk your feet in. Take a second, stay folded forward for me, and just bow the body down. So good. Let all of that stability work and core work go. Shake your neck, yes and no. Release that tension. 
Slowly roll up, bone by bone. Taking some side body stretches from our oblique work. Reach up and over, out of your midline. Sending your exhale down through your left heel, out through your left fingertips, feeling the stretch and open, openness of your side body. Other way, reach it out, up and over. Feeling that openness. Taking a second, breathing in and out. Excellent, everyone. Walk your feet in. Taking your arms out. Send your left arm out. Pull it across your body. Soften in those knees, drawing the core tight. Keeping the lower half nice and loose. Take a swing of the arms as you release this. Let it go. Wherever you are in your day, just try to find some tension to release in the body. Outstretch your right arm. Pull it across. Pull it down into your back. Just letting all of that upper body work and engagement go. Excellent, everyone. Take your hands together. Clasp them behind you. We're going to shine the heart up. Pull the shoulder blades down, opening the chest nice and proud. And then releasing that. If you need to hold on for this next set, go ahead and hold on to something if you're okay. We're gonna take that leg behind you for a little quad release and stretch, maybe both arms. Pressing the thigh forward as you try to pull that heel into your glute and back a little bit so you feel that opposition. And then release it back. Step it down, just stretching that hip and calf in the back side. Taking that hinge forward so you feel that stretch, maybe reaching the arms up, pressing through that front foot. Good, take it to the other side, stepping it in, grabbing onto a surface if you need to, if you're okay, maybe one arm will both wrap around, feeling that release of the front of the leg. Staying tall in your midline. Go ahead and shake it out for me. Step it down. Press into that extension. Lower the heel. Maybe your range has to be a little shorter. Taking that forward hinge. Arms out. Squeeze the shoulder blades down into your back. And then releasing that. Finishing with two breaths. Just to center yourself as always. Take a nice inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Give me one more. Nice inhale. Exhale. Release. Let all of that tension go. Amazing work at home. Thank you so much for joining me again. Thank you to Free People Movement for this amazing outfit. And thank you everyone for tuning in. My name's Danny again. And I'll be actually I'll be coming at you next week as well for another P-Ball workout. So be on the lookout for that. Stay safe, everyone, and see you then.